there are a lot of reasons to keep betting on elite financial stocks in 2024. Not only are we going to look at some amazing uh, map signals data that tells you to keep buying financial stocks, but we also have an incredible historical study that you're going to want to see near the end. So listen, the last few weeks we've been telling you there is a revival, a rebirth under the surface of the market. You're seeing a lot of money go into some of these prior unloved areas like energy stocks, industrial stocks, and also financial stocks. And you may not be thinking that financials are a place to be right now, but when you consider the evidence, I think you're going to change your mind. So let's go ahead and get to it. First thing we want to do is look at recent performance. You go back to the market low of October 27th, only three areas are up 30 plus percent tech, which I know most people realize, com services, which is really a tech play now. And then you have financials, which is up 32% from the market's low. So listen, momentum is not a reason to sell stocks, guys. And here's why, because if you go back to December, we actually told you that one of the biggest buy days ever in financials was back in December. So here we have plotted on this beautiful graph all of the financial inflows and outflows. So in green, that's the total number of financial stocks that are getting bought. In red, those are the number getting sold. Here's what's interesting. When we get these huge, huge inflow days, that typically is a macro signal telling you that something bullish is going on under the surface. We got these prior instances and we have the instance of December. When that happened, we had a tremendous study that we provided. You can go look, watch the video. It was amazing. Basically what it said is three months after this huge signal, you can expect XLF to be up on average 8.4%. And you know what? It was up over 11%. Now, here's the other cool thing is six months later after this study, uh, you can expect a 14% gain for XLF and 12 months later with 100% batting average, XLF tends to be up nearly 29%. We are in the middle of this wave. This is why we were telling you for 2024, superstar stocks are going to be found in the financials sector. Just to put this into perspective, I love these charts. XLF typically moves this much in the black area, right? That is what you can expect for XLF in any given month, three month, six month, and yearly period. Post this mega inflow signal that we saw in December, look how much more staggering the performance is. So listen, you got to pay attention to money flows as it relates to macro sensitive financial stocks but we got to keep going and let's look at some map signals data again does this jive with what we're seeing in our data and it actually does financials is the number three sector only behind industrials and energy that is right so technology is taking a backseat. So more of these more cyclical areas start to gain more momentum, a lot more inflows as we have this big market recovery that is happening. If you don't believe anything that I just told you, stay tuned because this is what you need to be focused on. 12 month performance of S&P 500 sectors. This is post the final rate hike. We know there are no more rate hikes. Guess which sector tends to be the best performing after the final rate hike? It is the financial sector with a 30% gain. So what does this all mean? This means you need to be focused on financial stocks in 2024. That means focus on the best banks, asset managers, financial data firms. There's a lot of unique ways to play this big theme. It's not all AI right now, I'm telling you guys but this is a great way to outperform. I will talk to you later.